Open press conference. Uh, I'll throw to Ben Shallon for opening remarks. Yeah, what a night of uh, of boxing. Um, eight o'clock. There were twenty thousand fans in there. It was incredible to see people say that uh, boxing is is dead or things are going wrong. But when boxing is good, boxing is amazing. And uh, people just wanted a, a a proper night out tonight. And it started at eight o'clock. We had fights throughout. I thought uh, Riyadh did really well. Congo Westman was a brilliant fight. But then the main event. Um, Liam Smith was confident throughout this. This was the fight that he, he, he really wanted. This was the fight that he he waited for. And um, we finally got it. And he, he finished it in devastating fashion. I think a lot of people in his camp believe maybe it could be a stoppage, but definitely would, would come out on top. But that was emphatic. And uh, the atmosphere, that's why we love boxing. And um, we saw it tonight. Chris Eubank Jr., one of the biggest names in our sport. And Liam Smith showed why good fundamentals, top quality fighter, world level, world champion, done everything and uh, he knew exactly what to expect and obviously very proud of him given the week and the build up, there was a lot of attention, a lot of pressure and he, and he, and he came and he enjoyed it and he was extremely confident and in the end it was a, it was a formality. Um, thank you all the media and the press this event just got bigger and bigger and bigger over the eight to 10 weeks. And uh, we had a treat tonight and it was a unbelievable victory for Liam Smith, for Liverpool. And uh, delighted, delighted to, to be here now with the winner. Um, Liam, obviously uh, it was something that you predicted. It was something that you uh, you were very confident about, but how do you feel after, after that? Yeah, I feel obviously great the way the way I should feel after a win like that. But I was confident I could beat Chris Eubank um, ten weeks ago, two weeks ago, yesterday and today. Um, obviously, it was in great fashion. I've just beat him in, but it was just a a prime case of what what got said all week. You know, Chris Chris's chin is great. It's like it's like Chris couldn't never be here. So it, it baffled me a few times, and I just said all along, like, don't think because Chris has got a great chin, he cannot be here. And, that was the best way to answer it. You you get it with little goals on the right spot. You go no matter how good your chin is. There's been boxers past, present who've got as good a chin, if not better chin than Chris Eubank Junior. And obviously that that just that showed exactly that. Joe, I was calling you in the week saying, make sure Liam stays on it. You were like, you have nothing to worry about, and. Uh, you filmed me with confidence for eight to ten weeks, and you and I think you believed in your fighter more than more than anyone. I think we were all confident, but you you knew what you knew what Liam was, and uh, <coughs> I'm sorry tonight. Yeah, do you know what, Ben? I just want to congratulate Liam on your win. Well done, well done, Beef. And do you know what, Ben? It's uh, when he trains as hard as he trains in the gym, <coughs> and they leave no stone unturned. And I seen a comment the other day from Phil non-boxing. Soft contact is in one box. Say, oh, he was in David Lloyd's on a treadmill. He was on a recovery session. You know, he trained really hard for this. Showed Chris the respect he deserves, and you know, it proved in his performance tonight. I did tell you, you know, a lot of people are overestimating <coughs> Chris's power and underestimate Liam's. I told you in the hotel too. Said so Liam touches it, he'll know what time it is. You know, a look, strange thing have happened in boxing and. I'm not really that shocked. I'll take the victory, but he was coming away with the victory by KO or by plus decision tonight, definitely. As you say, you weren't that shocked. Yeah. But were you frustrated with, with, with the amount of uh, media, fans, everyone, almost almost looking like it was a foregone conclusion? We all knew this was a tougher fight than Conor Ben, but I think there was a lot of media that were favouring Chris Eubank Jr. How did that affect you? Um, yeah, not really, you know. I'd, I'd, I'll eyes on Eubank for a lot of years, you know. I know, you know, he's not fundamentally the most best boxer out there, and I've got a man next to me here that can do everything. You know, he's got this, and Chris underestimated him. I truly believe him. A one-trick pony, chugging forwards. I lost him for a little bit in the third round, you know, because he's a ballsy cunt. But uh, he got back to it in the fourth, and uh, um, he just put me pulled that knockout out and you know he's he's a, just a fantastic fighter there's not any kind of do Liam obviously you've achieved a lot in your career um you've done everything I imagine that you could have dreamed of how does tonight rank in amongst those achievements 
the cheat state then solves the fucking right of the <laughs> <laughs> No, um, look, the whole, the whole night taken into consideration, um, you know, sold out Manchester Arena, Christian Bank's a huge name, Sky Pay Per View, um, and to do something kind of everyone said I couldn't do, not no one thought I'd do, basically everyone told me I couldn't do it. Um, no, obviously it ran right up there with, 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 with the best nights of my career. What I will say is uh, Chris Eubank Jr. took a risk tonight, a risk that he didn't have to take, and he is a he is a fighting man, he is a real fighter, and uh, he, he stepped in there. In, in, there was a lot of pressure on him tonight, and I think he will have known how good you were. He probably knows now the levels that you really are at, and uh, we hope to see a rematch. It'll be on Chris Eubank Jr. as to whether we see it, but I just want to say thank you to him as well, because he gave us a, a spectacle and a build-up that was incredible and obviously BP has come out on top. Um, before we finish, any questions to Liam, to Joe? Liam, how great did it feel to silence someone that was really trying to get in your head in the build-up? Uh, obviously great, that, that was always kind of going to be the plan from the start, the fight was made, it'd be great to just beat Chris, you know, the, the character, but look, that's the way he portrays his career basically, you know, I said before, and I know this week got out of hand a little bit, but name me a Kishibank Jr. fight and build up that's being respectful and make sure hands and you know he hasn't had one. Um, so I knew that was gonna that was gonna go that way, you know what I mean? But it was just always gonna be a, a good victory to beat Chris, he's a big name, he's a, you know, he's a, it's a mad, he's probably a bigger name outside the boxing than he is in boxing. It's it's it's, it's the same wrong with him, but you know, he's a big name now and it's a the reception I got in Manchester, I said beforehand, take football rivalries aside, Manchester's good as home for me. I've had some top nights up here, I'm still unbeaten in Manchester. Um, and I won my world title here, and that's just, I've probably topped it again. The atmosphere was electric, like you mentioned, here in Manchester. I'm guessing that you're thinking about the idea of it back in Liverpool rematch if Eubank takes it. Do you think he takes the rematch and it being in Liverpool as well? Yeah, you know, he has to sit, he has to sit with, his, with his own team and his own family and, and see if he wants this rematch. But, um, you know, I'm, I'm open to, to anything. I always have been. I always have been open to anything. You ask any man who's ever dealt me over the years. Um, I'm not hard work to deal with. But, you know, if it's Chris next, it's Chris next. If not, we can sit down and I've got very good options now. I'm in a good position. And I've been said, Kel, Kel wants to fight the winner. That's a huge fight. Um, and I've just talked to Golovkin. So, I'm in a good position now, 160 as well as 154. So, you know, it's again just a win, a win. that was all that mattered today. Liam, <coughs> radio around here. Uh, Chris has tweeted that he had a great shot, he credited you with the win, and has tweeted that he wants the rematch. He's accepting that rematch? Uh, yeah, I, I have to. I think, you know, so I don't know. Yeah, of course. Um, I said, again, I said last week, I said two weeks ago, I said three weeks ago, four. I beat him once, I beat him twice, so it's not a problem, but this has to be right for me now and on my team, so, you know, it's I'm not really bothered about the Smith Eubank sign, but the other things has got to be on my terms. What makes it right on your terms? Just obviously everything, you know, like I said, Liverpool, um, obviously the money side to it now, um, I might drag him down to 157. <laughs> a lot of people thought you were past your prime before this fight. Is this maybe the best Liam Smith we've seen? I have this conversation for the last past two or three years. Um, I don't like, I don't have got grey and I'm 34, but I'm saying as good as ever. <laughs> I'm saying as good as ever. I feel as good as ever, and I'm still getting the results. And I should be getting so. Like I said, I've got a good enough family to tell me once that day is done. I've got a good enough team around me now to to tell me. To have a think about it, but again, while I'm producing nights like this and results like this, I'm far from far from the end. Ladies and gentlemen, we do have a microphone for the press, so if you have a question, please raise your hand on myself and my colleague will bring the to you. Cool. Go on. So obviously Chris Eubank Jr. have a lot of things to say about Scouse people, and obviously in the arena tonight there are a lot of Scouse people. You've got Darren Till. Curtis Jones, Jamie Carragher, what does it mean to get that win in front of so many of your home fans? Look, it was just great to get the win in front of no, not look, just be fans in general. No, not just not just Liverpool as a whole. You know, I've got fans all over, so it was great to just repay them fans with um, 
the stuff by me, especially through a bit of a sticky week where it got a little bit out of hand. Me and Chris, but you know, I take what Chris said with a pinch of salt, and I don't, I don't, you know, I don't think he means it. A lot was said. Um, so, you know, so that's it, really. One more. Do you think Chris can sort of rebuild and come back in a different way? Could he be different in a rematch? What would you expect from that if it does happen? Because the signs are he's sort of tweeted about it potentially. Yeah, again, I think he's probably going to have to tweet about it and have to talk about it right away. Like, kind of the ego and applied thing. You know, he's not going to say, well, I don't want that rematch, I've just been knocked out. But you might get a different answer three, four, five weeks time when he's sat and thought about it, maybe watched it back. I need to watch it back myself, I can't, I, no, I can't tell you how can it was. Um, so, you know, he'll, he'll have a sit down with his team and his family and he'll, he'll decide if he wants that rematch. Like I said, if he wants that rematch, I'll give him And you also, well, you mentioned Golovkin, which maybe before this fight would have been hard to believe, middleweight, but for you, what would be the kind of perfect next step in an ideal world if you weren't tied up with rematch clauses? Anyone around the field. <laughs> Oh, no, just, just obviously, as I said before, it puts me in a good position now. I can take the Chris's rankings at 160. Obviously, I don't know whether it might go down well, but I can go, I can go back to 154 if, if, if necessary. It just depends what happens, but we'll see who, who comes available and, and what's right for me, my team, and my family. All right, thank you. Uh, what I will say is uh, Liam Smith took this fight at 160. There were no complaints. There was no, there was no requests. There was nothing. He didn't. He didn't. He didn't care. Oh, All he was. He's gone he was that. He was that. That went up. He just wanted the fight. He didn't care when, how, if, when. That was it. And uh, fair play to him and his team because it was a masterclass, and they were so confident. And his proper boxing people is why we love the sport. And he had the pressure of the nation on him tonight, and he had to put up with a lot this week as I said and he didn't even he didn't even flinch and he's gone in there and put on an uh, unbelievable performance and uh, I think round of applause for Liam. Well, thank you. Thank you.